We are here, we are here, we are here. Amazing day everyone. This is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis Overview. Disclaimer, I am not a professional. Please watch these videos at your own risk. These videos are for entertainment purposes only. Friends and family at Globus Traders Elite on Discord, this is for you. Families and friends will prosper. Back to business. Hi guys. We back in. Uh, let's take a look at some pairs today. Uh, we're going to take a look at BTC versus USD. That will be Bitcoin versus the US dollar. Let's go check out the charts. So we are on tradingview.com. Today is December 7th, 2020. 8.36 a.m. I did a few markups here. Let me erase this. All right. Let's start the markups today on the one hour. Let's take a look at what we see. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to work on today is we're going to work on levels. SR lines, support and resistance. We're gonna come over this way. We're gonna grab our horizontal line. We're gonna find some areas of support. about five levels of support all right so we have five major areas of support so what we see is let me see price has created lower lows in this area it was able to push the market up came up out of here reach higher highs retest the higher highs a second time or first time we tested a second time came all the way back down look like it's some type of consolidation hit lower lows of the previous day came back up came back down came back up again came right back down trying to reach up rallying up rallying up rallying up and this is what current price action is right now so we in the middle of some type of look like consolidation on the one hour. Let's clear our boards. So we got our SR lines down. Now let's go to the one day. So the one day, let's go look at our overall trend. So our overall trend on the one day. is exactly what we see grab the trend lines and that is a overall uptrend so it's in the uptrend go down to the four hour see we could probably tighten it up a little bit so we have one level of We have a uptrend where we see prices respecting the areas once, twice, three times, maybe four times in this area here. And then the market pushed up all the way to the top. So what I can see here is we can grab another trend line, place it somewhere here, and then push it all the way up to the top. So what we see, the market came down low, worked its, worked its way up, right in that trend line, broke off the trend line, rolled another higher trend line, up, 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 rallied back down for a retest, came back up, reached a higher highs for the second time, trying to figure out what it's going to do. Let's go to the 
four hour. Let me zoom in on the four hour. Let's take a look at the four hour. Let's see. So with going down the time frames, you can find patterns. So I see a pattern of four hour. Let me see if I see it anywhere else. So I see the same pattern a few times on this chart. And let me put up the, the pattern I see. Uh, what was it called? Trading. Um, Forex. We're gonna type in Forex pattern sheets. We're gonna go to images. And let me see which one I found. So I found this right here. I, I found a bearish W, which is right here. So we see that the, if we see a W in the, a W in the market, the market came down, came up, came down, created that W, pushed all the way up, and then that we will see we, we should be seeing some type of drop coming up soon. So let's go back to BTC USD to take a look at what we see. So in the monthly, I see a W. So we have a W here on the monthly. Go down the time frame. Okay, I don't see a W in the weekly, but it is in the monthly. Let's go to the daily. I do not see in the daily neither. Let's go to the four hour. Okay, we found another W in the four hour. I want to zoom into it, you probably can see it. Oops, let me take it to the middle of the screen. So we have a W in a pattern. So remember, from the pattern sheet, we see if we see a W, price might be coming back down. So let's take a look at the overall picture. So price came up, reached higher highs, came back down, created that W formation, pushed all the way back up to the top. And what from what we've seen in the Forex pattern sheet that the market should be going down. And we see the same thing down, up, down, up, big drop down. So it's the same the same type of pattern. So it'll probably happen. Um, what we can do is let's go down to the let's go up to the one day and let's zoom out. Let's look at the overall picture and see what we see. I don't see much in the daily. Let's go back to this. Go up to one one week. Okay, one week is perfect. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys know what I see on the one week. Okay, so back in what 2017, we had December of 2017, early the beginning of 2017, March, May. So we started getting some action around May and May, June, and July. So price came up May, June, July, came back down, came up, came back down. And September 17th, market pushed all the way up to the top. It pushed the market pushed all the way up to the top. It reached high highs in 2017 and December. So this area here, we can see that the price couldn't hold here. So the price rallied right back down. So we in May 2018, July 2018, August 2018, October, November, December. So back in December 2018, the market dropped right back down. It put itself into a lower consolidation in this area here. Came down, was able to break out of it back in April 2019 pushed all the way to the top couldn't hold so it tried to break previous levels so previous levels would be something over here so I tried to break this area here which it wasn't able to sorry about my crooked lines so it wasn't able to break this level here it came up retest the area one time came back down the price the market pushed all the way back down almost to the bottom which we have previous lows somewhere here so if you line this area up we're here it kind of matches up so we can see 
it reached back to lower lows back in what, March 2020. And now the market's pushing up. One, two, three. Three push-ups to the top on the weekly. So on the weekly, we can see that the market reached all the way to the top. And now we have to see if it's going to break higher highs. So we're looking for it to break past this area here, but on this side. So if that happens over here, it's going straight up. But we know, we don't know what we see from the Forex pattern sheet. We found a W in the market. Back to the W, it shows if you see a W, the market's going to be coming down. And we found that, that W on the four hour. So if I zoom into price action, let me erase some of this off my screen. I feel like I have a lot going on. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to redo the W. So we're going to zoom into the four hour. So we at the other end of, um, we at the end of price action. Near the end of price action, we found the W. So the market's going to probably be coming down. So I go to W here once again, coming down. Market comes up. And from the Forex pattern sheet, we have seen that it said, if you found a W in the market, the market is going to do what? Come right back down. Okay. Just because it say that don't mean it always happens. The market can rally up, but we should be looking for sales or something to break. We're looking for candles to break this consolidation area here, which is the blue lines. So either it's going to break above to go higher, or it's going to break low, break below, and break through this trend line to go back to the previous trend line from months and months ago. So I'm going to go back to the week, the daily. I'm going to zoom out. So we can see that the overall trend. Let me erase some of this off my board. We can see that the overall trend is an uptrend we have two areas of trend lines we have one here ended up breaking up higher it, go, it looked like it's exhausting itself it's probably gonna come right back down reach back on this trend line and break its way up if not it's gonna reach lower lows so as we found a W in the market on the full hour we do feel like the market's gonna go down. At the end of the day, it's a waiting game. And let's say if we're gonna take it back down, once it breaks this lower blue line, it's gonna go further down to the next level. So let's say the next level will be this trend line here. So actually, we'll probably be waiting for about two breakthroughs. So we're looking for price to break through this support line. We're looking for price to come back over this way to the trend line if they end up riding it back up it rides back up if not it'll probably just break through this and create lower lows so we if we found entry below the blue line and we take it to the first area of a trend line or the second trend line let's see how many pips we're looking at let's say we found entry somewhere here we'll take that further down there's extra digits on the Bitcoin BTC USD. So if we took it all the way down, I mean, we don't know the market may extend, it may extend a little further out. It may do a, a straight drop down, but just for right now, let's say a straight drop down. Let's say it's going to, let's say it's going to consolidate a little over. It's going to come over a bit, and then it's going to drop. So we're looking about 294 pips times that by a dollar on the way down. If it break lower lows, it'll come all the way back down. This maybe this may take you know months and months and months or weeks and weeks and weeks to come all the way back down here. We're looking at a total of 590 pips minus the last three digits of the 869. So that's 590. So 500 pips, 590 pips on the way down. And if it goes up, let's see what we're looking at.
So we know where price is going if it goes up. If it goes if it goes down, we know where price is going. If price goes up, we clearly can see from this angle here it's not going up anywhere. So from there, if the price does happen to rally up and push its way up to the top, we just got to keep our eye on, it, our eye on it to see if it's going to exhaust itself to come right back down. Alright guys, thank you for watching. That was BTC USD Bitcoin versus US dollar. This is 